Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. In this new study from Korea, they have found that seaweed is able to reduce muscle loss in older adults by, among other things, increasing testosterone and mitochondrial biogenesis. The main study was a clinical trial with some tests in mice to understand the mechanisms better. And with that, let's have a look in more detail at the paper. Seaweed is part of the diet in Japan and South Korea, countries with some of the longest life expectancies. And in this study, they show that it may help with sarcopenia, for which there is currently no specific treatment. Recent mouse studies have shown a benefit to older mice of an extract from brown seaweed called Ishige Okamurai. In this study, the authors ran a clinical trial on 80 participants aged between 50 and 85 with an average age of around 62. They were randomly assigned to a trial or a placebo group. The intervention was 500 milligrams of IO extract. The paper says here it was per kilogram, but in the method section, it says 500 milligrams per 60 kilogram, which seems a more reasonable dose. So I think that that is what it was. The endpoints were vital signs and muscle strength. Having seen positive results in the human trial, they conducted mouse trials to investigate the mechanism of action. Mice were given varying doses of 50, 100 and 200 milligrams per kilogram for six weeks and measured for aging and muscle wasting markers, such as grip strength, body weight and composition, serum parameters and molecular changes. In the clinical trial, they saw no adverse effects and they saw increased muscle strength in the quadriceps compared to the controls. The mouse trials saw improved grip strength and testosterone, as well as improved markers of muscle parameters, such as lean mass, cross-sectional muscle fiber area, and the number of satellite cells. Markers of oxidative phosphorylation also increased, implying increased mitochondrial biogenesis. This is the first study to investigate the link between brown seaweed and muscle strength decline, and showed that IO treatment helps maintain muscle mass and delays muscle wasting with age. What is Ishige Okumurai? It is a brown seaweed which grows in temperate regions of the North Pacific, including Korea and Japan. The seaweed in this case was collected from Jeju, an island off the southern tip of Korea. In the study, the authors were interested in the active ingredient, a polyphenol, which is also a fluorotannin, DPHC, difluoroethohydroxycarmorol, the paper discusses the preparation method and refers to earlier papers. From my reading of it, my understanding is the pure DPHC was extracted from the seaweed and used in the study. The previous study that was referred to quoted a yield of 0.39% for DPHC from the seaweed. So to get 500 milligrams would require about 128 grams of seaweed. Though please note, a lot of guesswork went into that calculation. Interestingly, Ishige also contains fucoidin, which has been shown to activate CERT6. However, this was not included in this trial as far as I can see. Let's have a look at the human test that they performed first. The trial lasted 12 weeks and the intervention was to take 500 milligrams of DPHC per day. The tests were leg extension and flexion exercises with the measure being the maximum torque at 60 degrees per second movement. The percentage change in quadriceps strength per this test is shown in this graph. The right leg extension increased significantly by what looks like 10% from the graph with a p-value of 0.001. This was only for the right leg extension. Segmenting by sex still saw significant improvement Though interestingly, when segmenting by age, only those under 61 were significant. There is an improvement in the graph for those over 61, but the authors do not comment on whether they thought this was an issue with the power when segmented by age or the effect was less for the older adults. Their conclusion from this was that DPHC did improve muscle strength. Moving on to the mouse experiments to identify the mechanism that was causing the increase in muscle strength. They used C57BL male mice, a common strain for lab studies. The young controls were four months old, about 26 
in human terms. And the old mice were 12 months, about 58 for a person. The trial lasted six weeks and doses used were 50, 100 and 200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. They also gave one group oxymethylone, an anabolic steroid as a comparison. At the end of the experiment, they performed a grip strength test and a DEXA scan. Serum testosterone did increase in a dose-dependent manner with DPHC, with a p-value of 0.001. The 200 milligrams per kilogram dose seemed to have about 150% increase, and it was almost the same as the young controls. The lean mass percentage of the intervention groups increased in a dose-dependent manner, and we can see that when taking the rear limb only, the percentage increase was larger. Not shown here, the body weight, bone density, and fat mass did not change significantly. We can see from this graph there was also a significant improvement in the grip strength of the mice compared to the old controls. One other test that they looked at for the improvement in muscle was the mitochondria, as mitochondrial capacity is reduced with age. To do this, they looked at the expression of four of the five components of the electron transport chain, the component in mitochondria, which is actually responsible for the generation of ATP. The level of these proteins is closely related to the mitochondrial output capacity. In all graphs, we can see a drop off from the young controls to the old controls, showing a reduction with age. This was partially rescued by DPHC supplementation at 100 and 200 milligrams per kilogram in complexes one, two, and three, while complex five tended to increase, but it was not significant. They did not show any results for complex four. The graphs show the fold increase, so a value of 1.2 shows a 20% increase. The increased expression of these proteins implies improved metobiogenesis. So seaweed appears to be healthy. This paper looked at DPHC, which helps with age-related muscle wasting. There is also phocoidin, which comes from seaweed, and nori, the seaweed used in sushi, that has the most taurine weight for weight at up to 1300 milligrams per 100 grams. It's interesting that in this paper, as well as showing the benefits in the human trial, that they also looked at the mechanisms in preclinical trials and saw improvements in testosterone levels and mitochondria. Though it would have been good to have done the testosterone assay in the humans as well, as it only requires a small blood draw. In the conclusions, they do say that consuming Ishige may help reduce age-related muscle loss. I can only find references to DPHC coming from this particular seaweed, though it is part of a family of chemicals called fluorotannins, which are present in other species of brown algae. Thank you for your attention. I wish you all well.